And welcome back to Detroit Become Human. I'm Duo, and today Fugitives. we are Just in like Jericho you. with Marcus. I'm Simon. North. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? We're just diving right only into the dialogue. Like Ooh. Find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. I ripped it straight out of his this brain. Find Jericho. God, I hope I never see that again. And hiding just to stay alive, that's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried 19. to reach Jericho. Ooh, that's sad. If you succeed, humans have little pity for our kind. Freaking humans. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. Hmm. Yeah, this is kind of somber. Maybe I was never really free. Maybe I was only what my master wanted me to be. Oh, Carl now, liked you. You were his son. I need to decide who I really am. You're lost. His robo baby. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. Okay, Daniel. Or should I say, You're safe hi, here. Simon. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Lucy? Who's Lucy? Oh, you know. Only hemorrhaging violently from my sides. But I'll take my time and explore. Because I'm sure there's nothing better I could be doing, like getting treated. There's a barrel here that I can just light on fire. Hell yeah! Arson! I love it! Fuck the system! Sorry about the F-bomb. Although I'm sure there's something more symbolic here, you know. Me lighting the... Lighting the way and everyone gathering around it. I suppose even if you're not susceptible to the cold, you know. Not as a human would be anyways. Still just the psychological prospect of having a light to gather around, you know. Might be important for these folks. I mean, it was important enough that they set up barrels with logs in them. Oh, there's another one. Let's light all the fires. We didn't start the fire. Oh, wait. Yeah, we did. We actually started several fires. That's not even an objective or anything. What's up with these folks? Hello, lady. No, we're just standing together. Ooh, there's a box I can look in. Wow, the crate's already emptied of legs. Gosh darn it. You know, there's a lot of work to get, you know. The legs I found in the graveyard. So I now know where the warehouse is for cyber life. Does that come in handy later? Am I gonna be a hero and run off there to grab some parts and then collapse because I'm out of blood? Wouldn't that be hilarious? Hello, hi Simon. It is good to see you. Hey, lady. North. How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, eleven hours. This is a fairly recent thing, then. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. It's a great place to throw a ball around. Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. Whoever he was, his body's probably lying somewhere on this boat. Ugh, that's depressing. Well, these guys need spare parts and blue blood. Why hasn't anybody gone to get that? It's 
not that simple. Can't just go shopping at a cyber life store. We can't. Anyway, nobody wants to risk leaving Jericho. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. So why did I come here then? If not for comfort, for a place to belong, for something to believe in. No, no, I came to the wrong place, obviously. Is this barrel? No, I can't like that one. Hello. You don't look so good. I've heard humans are afraid of dying, too. Yeah, it's a terrifying experience for most. Do you know what happens after death? No. Definitely not for an android. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. Come on, save her! Give her the blood! What's your name? Marcus. You're transmitting data? Yeah. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. Oh, God. Imagine being connected like that, sharing memories, you know, and being able to feel the moment that somebody has passed from this world. Oh, God, Marcus. I'm sorry, buddy. Oof. Sounds downright terrifying. You don't look so good either. Please don't die in my hand. Not me there. You could shake that night. No, he doesn't look so good. My diagnostic program isn't working. Might be a blessing. I don't think it would have anything good to say anyway. No. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. God. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. That's not fun. No, I... That's sadistic. I don't want to shut down. Aww. I don't want you to shut down either, buddy. Can we still save you? I hope so. Let's see... We've talked with the North. I don't think Simon has anything to say. Hello, hi Simon! Nope, still nothing. There he is. This is Josh. God, is that a dead kid? Oh, he's still breathing. They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. Wait, is that a help kid them robot? Blue blood and bio components. Guess it makes we sense. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. God, this is not quite the promised land, huh, Marcus? Less than 19 people. I mean, 18 with that girl, having departed. Uh, does he have a light? What does it appear to? Uh, but yeah, I guess in a world like this where they have, you know, androids down to this level of, you know, perfection, this level of, you know, science, so it makes sense to, you know, have a child model for people who want to have children but aren't able to, uh, you know, conceive or uh, they might have a lifestyle that's not conducive to having children, but they still want, you know, a kid to be there when they get home that hasn't uh, starved or electrocuted itself while they were out and about. <laughs> I'm going to strongly assume that the singing voice is Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Are you Lucy? Oh, God. She has seen a rough day of it. Sit down. Is she blind? She's missing most of her head. Ugh. Show me. Show me what? My abs? My sick abs? 
Oh, Christ balls. I'll stop the bleeding. Oh god, oh god. I know that works for humans sometimes, but... Uh, you're just gonna melt the plastic? That had to sting. Ah, Powerade. My favorite. Drink this. So I guess androids can just drink replacement blue blood. That definitely makes it easier to get it back into their system. Leads me to wonder if they've got, um, since they have simulated breathing, I uh, guess you can see them breathing. I guess that's to make them appear more human-like. I wonder if they have stomachs, you know, or even if they're non-functional so they can at least simulate eating alongside somebody. Even if they, like, you know, vomit it or Give me your hand. poop it out later. She's got my thumb. Oh god. Not the thumb hold! Ugh. What you is had she it all. And you lost it all. You've seen hell and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. Yay, I'm important. Maybe. Maybe she's just really good at, like, killing people, but she's actually crazy and nobody, like, listens to her. It's like, oh yeah, just go patch, have her patch you up and, uh, don't pay too much attention to that part of Shadow, part of Light business. Or is she more of an oracle? Somebody who, whose eyes see far beyond the picture we see. Hard to say. I can now Simon. talk to Hi Simon. Hi Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyberlife Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Well, Which is why we won't ask permission. Then we're gonna we murder them. Weapons. Just like we did to Leo. We did. None of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try. Yay, I'm special. I'm inspiring them. Okay. I'm in. Don't seem super enthused about that though, Josh. Hope you don't end up becoming a a thorn in the plan. Wow. 90% completed. Wonder what I missed. Huh. Huh, yep, yeah, let there be light. I got got a little blip there for turning all the lights on. Um hmm, interesting though. We've just been formally introduced to the folks of Jericho and their rather bleak situation. <laughs> it's it's not super happy. But uh, maybe we will be the ones to introduce change. Now the question is, is it going to be a good change for Jericho? A good change for humanity? Will everyone be left living after all of this? It's hard to say. But for now, I'm calling this one here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I appreciate appreciate each and every one of you. I'm definitely looking forward to catching you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.